Hi, everybody. It is Monday morning, uh, the 30th of March, 2020. Uh, I'm trying every day to focus uh, for five minutes, five minutes of hope, on elements of hope, something about hope that can, that can inspire us and keep us pressing in to the true presence of a living God who loves us deeply and does not want us to experience the challenges and the hurts and the disappointments and the uncertainties of life without hope. But let's not say hope is just some empty thing. There are elements of it. Yesterday, we talked about the element of sanctified or holy anticipation and how we have to have that in order to have genuine hope. Today, I want us to talk about gratitude, thanksgiving in our heart. What does that look like practically? What is that? I mean, if we don't have gratitude, an attitude of gratitude that stirs that thanksgiving in us, then I'm convinced hope can't operate in our lives and can't be distributed through us to other people. We all know what it's like when we get cranky and we don't get thankful and we get disappointed. We're like, man, just gratitude leaves us. We start setting our eyes on other people and other things and thinking, oh, I don't have that. Or we get disappointed with our situation and our, our attitude and the level of gratitude in our life just sinks and it affects our hope. I remember one time in India, uh, I was uh, in a, a speaking as a guest speaker at a festival and this beautiful family, this pastor in their very simple home, uh, invited me in around this very simple table, beautiful children. I can, I can see it and smell it in my mind right now. And uh, this is about 20 years ago. And, and I remember them giving me these this dishes to eat. And it was, they all gathered around, they were watching me eat because they would not eat until they were able to give me food first because they were so thankful for me being there. They were so thankful for the food they had. And so in their broken English and through my translator, they prayed, thanking God so passionately for the simple food and for their guest. And they allowed me to eat these, these dishes that were like egg and rice and these some things. I'm just not even sure what they were, but it wasn't about the taste. It wasn't, I, I just did it because there was a sense in that place of gratitude that was just beautiful and you saw it expressed in their life it was the gospel was being lived out the hope in their simple challenging circumstances in their lives they had hope and uh, and it was beautiful to see gratitude being expressed in that way I, I want to remind you no matter what you're facing job economy quarantine all of these things hey listen there's hope and part of that hope to be stirred in us is to be grateful for what we have. Take time, thank the Lord. Paul reminds us this when he's talking to the Thessalonians. He's, he's, and you can read the whole thing in Thessalonians chapter five, but in particular focus in on verse 16, when he says, rejoice always, pray continually. And then in verse 18, he says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It's literally the will of God for you and I to have thanksgiving and to be grateful for what we have. And without it, it will trip us up and we will not experience hope. We'll get in a funk. And that's not what we want during this season. He reminds us also when he's talking to the Philippians. And remember, Paul's talking from some rough circumstances, you guys. Dig into it, look into the Acts, read his writings in the epistles. They're crazy, the kind of stuff that he had to face. But here's what he says to the Philippians. And this is a famous verse. We know it a lot. It says, rejoice in the, all, in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Then it says, do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and petition, present your requests to God. We love that. But listen to what it says. It says, and then the peace of God, which transcends all of our understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. But see, we jump a lot of times to the, hey, his peace wants to guard our heart and mind. True. He wants us to have hope. But here's the deal. He says for us to do that, we have to do it with thanksgiving we present our request to God. So it's not just, Lord, I need this. Here's my list. Here's all the stuff. Lord, help me, protect me, blah, blah, blah. Yes, God cares. He loves us and our family. He loves you deeply. He wants you protected. He wants to care for you. But here's what he wants. He wants us to present our requests with gratitude, thanksgiving. So whatever it takes, stir it in you. Talk with other people that have healthy attitudes of gratitude and let the hope reign in your life and share it with others. But let's start with being thankful with gratitude. 
I love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.